Let's talk about the steps you can take right now to become a CNC programmer. A lot of guys ask me, you know, what does it take to become a CNC programmer? What, what school do you go to? What courses can I take? What video series? What books? And if you are working in a CNC shop right now, even if you're just an operator or, you know, you're just loading parts and you're, you're the setup guy, you can learn so much. You know, it all starts with a blueprint. You look at a blueprint and you determine the size of material that you're going to be cutting it from and then you got to decide what's my first operation. Is it a milling operation? Is it a turning operation? Is it a mill followed by a turning or a turning followed by a mill? So you got to visualize that process first, okay, and determine what tools you're going to use. Then you got to determine where you're going to put your origin on that part, okay? So pay attention to the processes that you're currently working on and then you learn a lot because this is what a CNC program has to do before he ever writes code, okay? He has to basically visualize that. And there's not, there's not just one way to run that part or to process that part. You know, you usually come up with two or three different strategies and then you pick one. And once you pick, you basically commit it. So, Start learning and watching, uh, and maybe even taking notes. Where did what? Where was the origin on the part? What type of tools were we using for the roughing operation, for the finishing operation, to remove the stock for side one, for side two? What fixturing was used? Was it just a straight jaw uh, on side one, and then we had to mill a shape into some soft jaws on side two? So pay attention to those things. Write them down and see if that's something you would have done, okay? Like I said, there's more than one way to skin a cat on these processes, but that's where it starts for a CNC programmer. He has to basically visualize this process in his head, okay? What you see at the machine, there's been a lot of work that's gone on in his head and on the computer to be able to process that part the way you see it come out into the machine shop. So start paying attention to that. The more processes you do and, and you document it and you look at the, the feeds and speeds and the type of tools that are being used and create yourself a library of all this information. And that is step one to becoming a CNC programmer. Before you ever write any code, you gotta know how you're gonna run your part. So here's an example of a process we're doing right here. We're taking this six inch long stick of 304 stainless steel and we're making this part out of it, okay? So the first step we're doing, and I'm gonna flip the camera so I can show you, okay? So this is what we start out with. This will be step one in the machine, okay? We are establishing a couple of nice straight edges to hold on to for the second operation. And then we go to a machine and we do multiple operations so every time we open the door, we actually get a finished product, okay? So let's take a look at the machine and see how that is set up. So what you're looking at here is a three-axis CNC Haas mill. And this is the setup that we currently are using to do the finishing operations. So we introduce this part that we have machined on a separate machine, you know, do, doing this first operation, we set it upside down, up against a stop, and then we're milling the excess stock from this side right here, from the inside right here. And so once that's done on this vise and this vise, we move it to this station right here. Now this is a vise that will hold two parts. You can see all that stock has been removed. So now finishing tools are coming out to actually machine this little pocket right here and finish these slots out and also the inside of this corner right here. Then it gets held like this inside this vise right here. So we have to make some special jaws to hold them straight up and down. Then we're gonna be machining the rectangular shape up on top and poke the hole through it. So that's just an example of how we process a part. So nobody gives us those instructions. These are the things that you have to figure out and that's part of the fun. So that was one example of a part that we run through our machines here. 
and we have customers come to us every single day wanting us to quote a project uh, and we have several different ones going on at the same time so from the time that a customer presents their print presents their project to us we have to start thinking how would we run that even the quoting process we have to have a pretty good idea of how we're going to run this so in the next five videos i'm going to start teaching you how to think like a cnc programmer and i'm going to start teaching you what tools that we use to determine some of these processes very important steps before you ever start writing code so from now on at your job, start paying attention to these processes and visualize in your own head how you would process that part through the machine from start to finish. I hope that helps you. I hope to see you in the next video.